hello guys in this video I'm going to be doing a demo of how to send and receive UART signals or UART data between two circuits using optocouplers so I'm going to be doing that with um, MPLAB express board the picketing F46 K42 um, microcontroller on the board here so basically what I'm trying to achieve is um, I need to send and receive data between two signals that are not galvanically connected. That means they are isolated, they, are not being, they don't have the same, they don't share the same ground, and they don't share the same parcels. So that's what I'm just trying to achieve. So I'm just going to show you a brief demo here of how it works, then I'll show you of what, what I've tried to achieve, then I'll show you how it works. So I'll program it to use a board rate of 19,200 so I'm just going to open the port right now and from what I encoded in the PKTNF device whatever signal I send from this my terminal through the FTDI um, is going to be returning back to my to the FTDI showing that has, there's an exchange of data between each of them so I'm just going to send this first text hello world Bye. I just want to test the extent of how it works. I typed in this little pen and it works well. Okay, click that twice. Come back. Click twice. Okay. So I can type in something else again. Say something. So this guy just works fine. So how am I able to achieve this? This is the schematic for the implementation. Basically I just have six components between the two communicating devices, two of the couplers and four resistors. Now this um, this is liberal VDDMCU. This is the power supply for the microcontroller. Why this is power supply for the FTDI. From the setup here, I'm powering the microcontroller from this um, back buck converter, taking power from battery, while the FTDI is being powered by the PC. So they don't share the same ground as indicated here. They have separate grounds. And also, um, R2 and R4 are specific for this setup because of two parameters. First is the voltage, VDDMC or VDD FTDI, and also the baud rate. So these 220 ohms that are used there works very well for 19,200 baud rate and 5 volts. So if you're going to go with another voltage level, probably 3.3 .3 volts, and another baud rate, you might want to tweak this value until you have it working right. But for this particular setup, this works well. So and I also wrote a little code here yeah. but there's one major thing that you need to take note from the setup of my URT here from MPLAB I inverted the polarity of the transmit and receive bit because basically this setup here the optocoupler setup here is an inverting um, network so if you have a one here, you're going to have a zero here. So in order for me to replicate my one on the output, I need to first invert the one on this pin. Then this does another inversion, so I still have whatever I intend to send here. So it's just to just to um, cater for this inversion here. So that's why I have to set it up here this way. So I inverted the transmit and receive polarity. So you only need to do it if you are interfacing with two microcontrollers. You need to do it with one of one of the um, microcontrollers. So I just wrote a little code here. If receive data from print receive and print the data and everything works fine from the circuit this is what I have here and it works really good 
Let me clear this up and try it a couple of more times. So, that's it. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please drop your comment, drop your questions in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video so much, you can give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.